a liar, a scammer. I love robbery and fraud. I'm a messy girl who lives for drama. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Ellery here. Looking a little different today, I know. I never wear bags. I had like a traumatizing experience when my hair fell out in junior high school and I had to get this short flip with a bang and I hated it so much. It ended up making my forehead break out. I had acne for a month. Long story short, I ain't fooled with bangs since. But um, I wanted a wig I can just put on where I didn't have to worry about hiding no lace or fixing no baby hair. I can just throw it on, give a little bump, bam, boom, bada bing. So I was like, okay, this is a good day to finally do my scamming bang bob. That's what I call it, you know, the rob the bank bang bob. I usually go to my girl Jane from the Virgin Hair Fantasy. She's in Atlanta, so whenever I need my wig hooked up, I go to her, she cuts it, colors it, and that's all I've been having to do, I've been spoiled. But I have a bunch of old wigs from back in the back in the back of the day that were just literally sitting in a bag. And I just decided to, you know, try something with one of them. <laughs> I didn't plan on it coming out cute at all. <laughs> this wig actually was orange at first. And um, I dyed it to black horribly. I did a horrible job dyeing it because I, I have no experience with color at all whatsoever. And the roots are still kind of orangey looking. So I ended up just putting it in a bag and I was gonna give somebody else to fix color, but I just never did it. But today it became my little test wig and I'm actually happy how it turned out. If you guys wanna see how I got the look, uh, make sure you guys continue to watch. Make sure you guys subscribe, notifications on, all that good stuff. And, um, and then after that, you know, I'm just gonna show you how I did it or whatever. <laughs> so here's what the wig looked like pre anything happening to it besides it being dyed black. Like I said, the roots are a little light skinned, but you're gonna pretend like you don't strip. First thing I did was put it on my head and make a middle part because since I always wear my parts to the side, I wanted to make sure when I cut it, it was even on both sides. So I parted it down the middle and held both sides down with a hair clip because it did not want to go the way I wanted it to go. Once I had it parted down the middle, I put it on the headican. I don't know what you call this, head mannequin, a wig mannequin. I just call it a headican. <laughs> and I put some T-pins on it to hold it down. Then I ran a flat iron through it just to make sure the hair was straight so that when I cut it, the bins that were already in it didn't mess up the cut. Just made it easier just to run the flat iron over it so that the hair is straight. After that, I did a big chop because I knew I wanted it about like two or three inches from the back. I just did this side first, just giving it a blunt cut, um, trying to get it as even as possible on the headican. I did one side first, um, just to make sure that it was the length I wanted it before I just did the whole thing and had to redo the whole thing. So I wanted one side to be cut the length I wanted it to be, and then I was gonna do the other side After it looked pretty even, I had to make sure, so I put it on my head, just to make sure it wasn't longer in the front or the back. And I um, fixed or trimmed whatever seemed too long or not right. And once I had it the length I wanted and it looked even enough, I put it back on the head again, pinned it down, and just tried to really perfect the bluntness. I pull you know, some layers out. Um, I don't know what it's called when you turn the scissors vertical and you just like slice it. I don't know if that's called like, uh, I don't know what it's called. I'm not even gonna act like I do. Uh, but I did that <laughs> and just tried to um, layer the ends just a little bit so that when I curled it under, it wasn't looking too Bobisha, but it um, looked like it was at least a tad bit layered. This part took a really long time because I don't know how many bundles are in this wig, but it was pretty, not too thick, but thick enough to where I had to keep going over it with the scissors and getting it as even as I could.
Then I pulled out the section of bangs. Uh, I guess that's to your discretion. I know some people like a lot of bang out. Some people like a lot on the sides. Just depends on what you want. I just did like an inch on this side of the part, an inch on this side of the part, and an inch in the front. So like a three inch little diameter, if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> and pulled it all to the front and secured it with a hair tie. Because before I cut it, I kind of just wanted the flyaways to be out of the way. So I used a hot comb, a plug-in hot comb, and just kind of press some of the flyaways down. I, it was just distracting. You don't even have to do this part. Now for the bangs. This part took a long time because I feel like it can make or break how the actual wig looks if the bangs aren't cut right. I wanted the bangs to be like a tiny bit long on the sides and the inside I wanted it to be shorter but I didn't want it to be super thick. So in order to do that I took small sections first because I didn't want to go too high and I look crazy. So I started like really low down and kind of inched my way up. I just tried to lift up layers and cut them the scissors vertically just to thin out the bang a little bit. And then once I had the bangs kind of like that, a little lower than eye level because once you add the bump, they're gonna look a little shorter. Brought out my hot comb again, pressed the hair down so that the hair will be trained to go in the direction I'm training it to go. Did a few more snip snips. And then I wanted to tie my hair down just because like I said, those flyaways just did not want to behave. So I wanted to mousse them down. This is my favorite mousse. Um, it's from Carol's Daughter. Her hair, it's actually a hair milk foam. It's not really a mousse, but I love this on my wigs just because it doesn't make the wig super filmy. Meaning like if I wear a lot of it on my hair one day, I don't have to like rewash my wig because the hair is all sticky. It's like really a lightweight foam, but still holds my baby hair down and gets of my flyaways i really love it i've tried others and i always go back to this one so this is like hands down my favorite for my wigs and i moose down the flyaways in the back on the sides a little bit where the bangs started and then just place a scarf where the part starts not necessarily right on top of the bang because i don't want them to be super flat but just where the part of the lace is visible and i left that on until I did my makeup. And then when I took the scarf off, I just rebumped my bangs. My camera wasn't in the bathroom at this that point, so couldn't really show you guys that part. But I just rebumped the bangs and um and added some hair oil. And that was about it. But this is how it turns out. I hope you guys love it. I'm not going anywhere today. That's why I have my robe on because I'm not doing anything per usual. But I wanted to put some makeup on because you know, sometimes you get a new hairstyle. Don't be looking right unless your face is done. It be looking like, oh. When I first put this on, I was like, oh. Then I put my face on, I was like, ah. I hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial. Um, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And let me know what you want to see next. But until next time, love you guys. Bye.